surprise. Had a few today. Start by telling me why you've been filling my son's head with lies. Ian, I'll, uh, I'll go over you to court. I don't think he should go anywhere. Of course he should. The man that killed his daughter is going to be standing in the door. What father wouldn't want to look him in the eye? Ian, I know this is a bit of a shock, but this is a good thing. This is justice for Lucy. I'll pick you up in half an hour. Vincent said that Grandad had been round yours, so I got angry. I slipped out. Did he tell you why Les was there? Oh, putting up shelves. Come on. It's true. Well, I'm sorry. I just don't believe you. Believe me or don't believe me. I need you to back off, Paul. Me back off? You threatened my relationship with my son. Uh, I threatened your relationship. No, you don't want me to say anything else. Fine. Don't give me anything else to say. I just, I don't want my nan getting hurt, that's all. Oh, but he wants that. And nobody's doing anything to her. Keep on denying it. I know something's going on. And if you really care about my nan, I'm begging you to stay away from her. Stay away from here. She's my friend. She wouldn't understand if I just cut her off. Well, I bet she loses a friend than her husband. Please, Mrs. Hubbard. The police have found blood on his shoes. They ain't saying much, but... Well, they must know it's hers if they're charging him. It depends on his way. Oh, no, it's a massive shock. It's OK to be sad. You are, babe. Um, the first day is this afternoon. I'm taking Ian. Oh, well, I want to go too. Oh, Abby, I'm not sure that's a good idea, darling. No, I want to be there. And then I'll go with you. Well, we'll go together. It's times like this you need your family manager, don't you? You look him straight in the eye. 